Time for the Wednesday drive through brought to you by our friends at Kuna Foods. I'll have a double smiley sandwich, curly fries, and a vanilla shake. Make that too. That'll be $7.98. Please drive up to the window. Thank you. It's time to sample some local fare. Smile, you're Mr. Smiley. What's hot? What's cool? Food for the soul. I give you guys a friendly piece of advice, okay? Don't ever go up to the drive-thru, okay? Always walk up to the counter. Have a banana, have a whole bunch. It doesn't matter what you have for lunch. Just eat it, eat it. It's the Wednesday drive-thru with Martin Kilcoin on the Big 550. Would you like smiley sauce with that? KTRS. We can see the food, but we can also smell it. It's the best this studio has smelled in a long time. Big Chief Roadhouse here with us on the Wednesday drive-thru. And let's go around and meet the panel here. Michael Rempe (laughs) is the owner, or is the GM. I knew I'd get it wrong. Chef owner, John Fox, and then Stephanie Mulholland, who is one of the owners, and everyone else said she's basically the boss. Welcome. (laughs) We call her the boss. You call her the boss. Uh, let's start with you, Michael. You are the GM. Tell folks about Big Chief's Roadhouse and explain to folks, if they haven't been there, where it is because it's got a great history. Uh, well, we're out in uh, Wildwood. Um, it's kind of, we're out there a little bit off the beaten path. Um, we're off Manchester Road, if anybody is familiar with Manchester and 109. We're about a mile and a half uh, west on Manchester Road from that intersection right there. Um, the place is really neat, though. I mean, it's got a lot of history. It's uh, been there since 1929. It started out as an old Coral Court Hotel right on Route 66. Um, so it's got a lot of history. It's gone through many different iterations throughout the years, and now um, we're trying to kind of bring it back to its old glory. What it used Would to be. it be further west than St. Albans? No, not that not far. Not quite that not far. Not that far. It's probably a couple, maybe two or three miles east of where St. Albans would be. So you're going west on Manchester, you pass 109, and am I going to see it to my left or my right? Um, if you're actually on Highway 100, you're not going to see it. Um, you have to be on what used to be called Old Manchester Road, and then, yeah, you would see it. It's right there on the left across from Wildwood Middle School. All right, Stephanie, since they referred you as the boss, let's, let's give people an idea of the menu at Big Chief's Roadhouse. What are you famous for? Um, well, all of our meats are made, um, are smoked in-house and are a commercial smoker. Um, we're very proud. All of our sauces, all of our dressings, everything is homemade from scratch. Um, Chef John does a great job of that. Um, family recipes, um, everything from his toasted lasagna to uh, my mother's cheesecake that we serve. All right, let's go back. Toasted lasagna. John, do you want to explain this? Um, and, and does anybody there refer to you as Big Chief at any time? Grab one of those microphones, yeah. John. <laughs> no, actually, they don't. They they just call me Chef. But uh, actually, this is a old. Uh, it's basically uh, our classic, your classic regular lasagna, but we put a little twist on it and we hand roll these. We bread them ourselves. It's stuffed with a uh, a bolognese stuffing. And then it's uh, finished. Obviously, it's kind of hard to explain the presentation. But it looks here. like toasted rav on the outside. Yeah. But it's a giant yeah. piece, and it happens to have lasagna inside of it. Absolutely. It's got your ricotta cheese, your your sausage, your your ground chuck, and, and all your Italian spices in it. And then it's served on a bed of pomodoro sauce. And then we touch it off with a little bit of, of roasted garlic cream sauce, and then a little chiffonade basil, and a little bit of, of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Now, the story behind toasted ravioli is disputed in St. Louis, but it, somebody dropped it in the deep fire. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. That would never happen with lasagna. So how did how did this yeah. start? We just started playing around in our, in our testing stages prior to opening it, and I wanted something to have a, a real nice wow factor when it was presented or walked out into the dining room. And so far, we get a lot of uh, head jerk, so to speak. <laughs> With that one, it's definitely, you, you see one go out, and then next thing you know, you've got about 10 going out. So. All the tables around them. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So it, it's, it, we're very proud of, of all the products we do there. Like Stephanie said, we smoke all of our meats. Um, we do a, a brisket, pastrami. We do pork shoulder. We do, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, pork chop through our wings. Um, a nice fat jumbo wing, which our audience can't see it, obviously, oh. but... We, uh, we put a lot of love in everything we do. We have a lot of passion for what we're doing, and uh, we just hope people give us a try because I think once you come in and try our food, you're you're going to be back multiple times. Stephanie, you have to tell us, uh, is there a story behind the name Big Chief Roadhouse? Um, well, the Big Chief is from 1929. Mm-hmm. Um, originally, it was on, I believe, roughly 50 acres, 
It was one of the largest uh, motels in the area um, that traveled along Route 66. Um, we are one of the last remaining restaurants that are still operating on Route 66. Um, so it is from 1929. Um, since then, the, the buildings have been tore down, um, the main hotel. So now we just have the main building, which was um, which they used as a dance hall. They used as the restaurant. Um, the workers lived upstairs on the second floor. There is, like, some little about... We've heard rumors about hauntings. <laughs> so the now, big chief still has a presence, perhaps. Yeah, supposedly. The halls. I tell him good morning every morning. When I yeah, come just, in. just to just stay to on his safe. good side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big Chief's Roadhouse, located in Wildwood on Manchester. You go west, uh, west of 109. Been around since 1929. Featured today on the Wednesday Drive Through, brought to you by Kuna Foods. In studio with us, Michael Rempe, who is the general manager, John Fox, chef and owner, and Stephanie Mulholland, also. One of the owners. Mike, why don't you paint a picture for folks? Is it family style? Do you see more families or is it – give us a little vibe on the atmosphere. Yeah, it's definitely uh, family friendly. Um, I've been around the area for years, and I went going to Big Chief when it was under different ownerships, and it was a little bit different. Um, it was more of just kind of like a bar and then a restaurant second. We've kind of flipped that around and made that into a restaurant and – um, we definitely it's we we get ball teams from the Palm Ballpark and Ellisville Ballpark. So, um, yeah, we're definitely kind of geared towards kids. We have a game room um, that's just set up off the side so kids come in and then we have a really nice patio. Um, so, yeah, I mean, everything that we do is kind of geared towards the families. All right. And John, if you were there, we put every chef on the spot. Okay. What would you order? Now, I know you're proud of everything on the menu, but you're sitting down. It's lunchtime and, and you're the chef. What would you sit down and eat? I would say. Everything, obviously, but but I would say if you're ordering just a sandwich, our pastrami Reuben is to die for. We've had hundreds of people say that it is by far the best they've ever had anywhere in the country. So, um, and, Steph, and then you, my and second, you can tell us too what you brought here today because you're obviously proud of these items. Absolutely, we actually brought our brought our beef brisket sandwich, which is uh, we smoke our brisket for about twelve hours. Um, and then we top, top it with our homemade coleslaw and our homemade barbecue sauce. Um, and then we have our, our pastrami Reuben right here, which is uh, pretty thick, as you mm-hmm. guys can see. It'll, it, it'll fill you up. You probably only want to eat about half of it, or you're going to be taking a little nappy later on. <laughs> but That's why we have a taped interview. Yeah. The the show. <laughs> and then we have our stuffed, uh, we have a uh, four cheese <clears throat> stuffed mushroom, um, and we finished that on a bed of roasted garlic cream sauce. Um, we also have our, our smoked pork chop, which we do an apricot jalapeno glaze on that, and that's served with our wild rice and our vegetable of the day, which another thing, we also have just added a huge garden, one of the largest gardens in the whole West County area. It's about 100 by 100, and uh, Stephanie actually is the green thumb on this one. So you're growing and your own vegetables? We're, we're actually we're, we're starting this year on that. We're real excited about that little Farm to the table type thing. Um, not that it will be able to to fulfill our restaurant all year long, but but we're real excited about um, the time and effort that we put into this. And Michael and Stephanie have really put a lot of time into it, but it is gorgeous. And Stephanie's also standing over the desserts. Yeah. We need to know what we have over there. Well, you can you can explain, Stephanie. Oh, they're just um, we brought a cheesecake. Um, it's the same cheesecake. One of them is drizzled with um, chocolate. Ganache. Ganache. And uh, the nuts. Our candied pecans that we make in-house, which are actually my mother's Mm -hmm. recipe. Thank Mm -hmm. you, Mom. Yeah. And uh, serve it over the cheesecake that my mom makes. Yeah. I love that you all kind of combine, it seems like, some family, a lot of family recipes Mm -hmm. into one. That's neat. Yeah, we also have a a pot pie that we do in-house as well that's still a little bit of mom's secrets through the years. And, <laughs> Mom knows and best. Absolutely. We call it Granny Marge's. Uh, her name is Marge, so we call it <laughs> Granny Marge's Pot Pie. Okay. And uh, it's a huge hit. We finish it off with a puff pastry over the top. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that is a huge hit. Even when it's gotten warmer, they're still going crazy on it. So. How about a website? People listening, and, and we'll, what we'll do, too, is before anybody eats anything, <clears throat> Josh, we'll take a picture. We'll put it on the Facebook page so they can get an idea of this awesome food because it really looks like art here in studio. Big Chief Roadhouse. Uh, what about a website? Yeah, our website is BigChiefSTL.com, and then we also have a Facebook page, which would be Facebook.com slash Big Chief Roadhouse.
Very good. Thanks for being here. It's a lot of fun to learn more about the destination, but also to see uh, and eventually taste the food that you guys brought in. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.